What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to General Shao in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks that you need to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course, some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we're gonna be using so that everybody who's watching understands what we're saying. General Shao is an absolute freaking menace and so much fun to play. And though he's got some layers to work with, on the surface he's pretty simple and I'm sure you get the hang of him pretty fast. His biggest gimmick is his axe. Now, his down forward four axe slam gets rid of the axe. So now we have a different move set because we don't have our axe no more. So combos like four to one, two, two, are different without the axe. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna wanna know when and how to use your axe, and when you don't have your axe, what are you gonna do in your certain situation? I'm gonna be real with you, General Shao plays a lot better when he does have his axe. I mean, one of his special moves, down forward one, this powers up his axe attacks. If you enhance it, you have a longer duration for it. And here's an example. We're gonna do his back two, his air pop up here. Then just do two, two, down back three. So see here, back two, and then two, two, down back three. That does 20492, so basically 205. Let's power our axe up and do the same exact thing. 245, so you can see, without using any bars, we're doing a ton more damage. So first tip and strategy is you really want to do that down forward one to power your axe up as much as possible. Whenever you get a hard knockdown on your opponent, you might as well just throw it out there, honestly. You just want to have your axe powered up as much as possible. Now, let's talk about the bread and butter for Shao Kahn, his normals, his specials. He's only got a handful of specials to work with, so your mental stack is not that high, which is kind of nice for most players. You can power your axe with down forward one. You can slam your axe down with down forward four. You can do a ground slam with down back four. If you enhance that, by the way, it's a pop-up. And of course, your down back three, the devastator move. That's gonna be your best wake up option as well, by the way, real quick tip, because that has armor when you enhance it. And here's how that looks. Now let's talk about his overheads and his loads. He's got quite a few options, which is super nice. For overheads, you have back one, two, and that one's okay, it's just like a nice, simple overhead ender. Forward two, and this one you can't really do much after besides press grab, and that does a nice combo. I like to do the after with the back two. A nice flashy combo. You have back three, two, and that one's super cool because though it doesn't do a ton of damage, it's a low overhead mix-up. So your opponent really has to know what's coming in order to block it. And of course, your axe slam down forward four, that is an overhead as well. If you hit that in a combo, that is a pop-up. And then for lows, like I said, you have to back three, two, because that's a low starter. And you can do just back three into a special if you wanted to. You're down back four is a low. And again, enhance, you can actually do a combo off of that. And just like we have forward two grab, you have back three grab. That's also a sweet combo. You can also do that after your back two. Keep in mind, all these simple combos are powered up as long as you do your down forward one. The best pop-up combos is your forward one, two, two. That can't do a ton necessarily, but you can do your down back three after that. You get your one, two. That's a very nice pop-up. I like to do down forward four after that. Makes for some great combos. You have your back two, of course. That leads into some air combos, but as you can see, General Shao has very limited air combos. He has one, two, two, or just two, two. And both of them are okay because he has no air specials. So I'm not gonna lie to you. If you do your back two, put him in the air, you can jump and do an air combo, sure. I found it best to just do one, two, because if you do that, you can land before your opponent does and continue a combo if you're fast enough. If you do back two, jump up, do one, two, land, do two, two. And then you can do your down back three after that. And if we power our axe up, that does some really good damage. No bars, 330 damage. I told you, man, General Shao is a beast. Now let's talk about the strategies and the things you might implement when playing General Shao. The first thing is the elephant in the room, that is when you lose your axe. So let's say you do it in a combo, right? You're not, not like, what do you do? What do you do? Well, when your axe is out, you can still do your down back four for a low hit as well. And the cool thing about that is if your opponent is on your axe, you do down back four, that's an overhead low mix up instantly. And it's super fast. So it's gonna be really hard for your opponent to block the entire thing. While your axe is out, you can just do down forward four again to call it back. Or if you're near it, you can do down forward one for a nice hit. And you can actually get rid of the axe and then call it back in the same combo like this. 
That way you end the combo with the axe in your hand. They're far away from you. Do down forward one powered up and get ready to rock. A lot of your normals with Shao do change when you don't have the axe. So our back two uses the axe, right? When we get rid of it, our back two still gets a pop up, but it's very minimal. But you can still combo off of it. Not too shabby. And then our forward two here, this overhead, that also changes pretty dramatically without our axe. So let's get rid of our axe and then do forward two. And then of course your down back three will also change because that uses your axe as well. So if we get rid of our axe here, do our down back three option, it's just a knee hit. One of my favorite hits without the axe is our back one because that puts our opponent on the other side of us to continue a combo. That is a mid hit, so it could be blocked pretty easily, but still, it's just fun to use. You definitely have decent combo potential without the axe if you needed. See, like I told you, pretty simple and straight to the point. General Shao is a menace. Has many ways to mix your opponent up and do some great damage. No real gimmicks, believe it or not. Shao is a pretty honest fighter. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos to get you started with Shao today. Guys, let me know what you think of General Shao down below in the comments. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time.